Now, uh, Tesco has suspended uh, four key executives as it investigates uh, the fact that it seems to have overstated its profit guidance by around £250 million. Anthony Welfare is a retail expert and author of the Retail Handbook. He joins us now from our central London studio. Uh, very good to talk to you. Um, just how serious do you think this could be and could get for Tesco? I think this is, is very serious. It's, it's shocking to hear the news this morning. You know, they, it's £250 million. Pounds. It's... It's a massive error. It's 25% of the predicted profit, which is much more than anybody would expect from a FTSE 100. So, potentially very serious. Tesco has uh, called in uh, accountants and lawyers to, to investigate it itself. Do you think it, could, it can remain that way, given just how important uh, Tesco is to the FTSE 100, just how many investors there are in Tesco and their concerns about the share price? I think the, the new chief exec has reacted well. He's, he's getting an independent inquiry, he's bringing in the solicitors, he's bringing in the accountants. So he's making the right moves. And, you know, to be fair to him, he wasn't around by the looks of what the information we have when it actually happened. So he's starting, you know, his new life in Tesco with doing the right things and making sure that the finance and the actual information and accounting is correct. But, I mean, the problem is, is that you mentioned uh, Dave Lewis there, um, just into the job as the new chief executive. He's uh, meant to be fighting a different fire, isn't he? The, the problems that Tesco has been facing for some time now in terms of its retailing performance. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's a massive problem for him because he's, he's trying to save Tesco from the market decline, the Aldi, the Lidl, and then the Waitrose and the upper end of the market. So... To actually have a, an accounting issue, which is a very finance issue, but so important, is it, it must be a very big headache for him. And also, he's not got a CFO. He doesn't have a finance director in charge at the moment. Well, that seems a bit of an oversight for a company that uh, the size. I mean, OK, he couldn't have anticipated uh, this happening on his watch or him uncovering it. But nevertheless, a company that size, it must be fairly unusual not to have a, a finance director in place. Absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm amazed that they, you know, the last finance director left two weeks ago. The new one doesn't arrive till December. And, and this is a multi-billion pound international company. It's, it's shocking that there's nobody in place. And, you know, the chairman and non-execs are not taking account for this and saying we need, you know, proper finance support to help the CEO. And on that, as I mentioned, the big fire that he should be fighting, Dave Lewis, does he look the kind of man that can, that can refocus Tesco? Or could anyone do it, given the amount of its share that's been nibbled away, as you mentioned there, by its rivals? I think he can. He's, he's got a good track record in Unilever. He, he made some massive changes. And just what he's done this morning, he's taken big decisions quickly. Hopefully he's going to get under the skin of Tesco quickly make big changes, you know, people have been suspended now. So if he gets into the company quickly and gets the right team around him, he's got a fighting chance. You've got to remember that Tesco still has 28, 29% of the market, so they're not going to disappear. They've just got big problems that they need to sort out over the next few months. Well, what's your sense, uh, I mean, knowing him, Mr Welfare, of what he'll do? I mean, you know, is he, have they got too much, too much, big retail space now? Are they going to focus online, expand more overseas? What do you think he's going to focus on? I think he'll very much focus on back to the customer. The store standards have slipped over the last few years, so making sure that when you're going to a Tesco store, you've got good service, good product, the stores are clean and tidy... And then also to, to take the online and the multi-channel, you know, doing your shopping online, using your mobile phones, etc., is so common. And Tesco were leading that. They, they're one of the biggest online delivery companies. And so if he, if he gets the service right, goes back to looking after the customers, and then takes hold of the online and mobile world, he's, he's got a very good chance of making it work because of the size of the market. Once he sorted out the accounting issue as well. A lot of this plate. Mr. Welfare, thank you very much indeed. Anthony Welfare. Thank you. Now, researchers.